welcome to Sailing Freedom Vishpi. In this episode, we will start our 450 nautical long trip towards Port Santo. It uh, will be quite eventful sailing together with Tom tomorrow, uh, with everything from dashing around in almost no wind to reefing pretty quickly. This is Sailing Freedom Vishpi cruising the Northeast Atlantic Islands. We have quit our working life to see the world from our sailboat and we want to bring you with us. My name is Anders. I am Gita. And this is Litsa, the truly free spirit on board. We are getting ready for departure and give you a small boat tour. We are making ourselves ready for departure, but it's raining. That's not exactly what we wanted. And this is the aft cabin where we have stored everything away. These things that are loose there are soft and light, so no problem. Here we are going to take that fan away, but I just showered, so it's a little bit wet in here. So I want to dry it out. And the galleys, also in order. That fan is going away tonight. And the saloon is looking good. The shoes is going to be take removed. And this is having breakfast and. Drinking coffee, and if I know him correctly, he's also checking the latest weather updates. And Litsa, she wants to be on film, so here she is. Can you show us your part of the boat? It's in here. Yeah, quickly. Here is the bed where we sleep while we are at sea, because you can't fall anywhere. And, um, well, the front cabin we usually use as a storage when we don't have guests and it looks terrible but everything is secured and um, honestly it doesn't take so long to clear it all out if if we get some guests on board and here is Litz's little bathroom and she can actually have her little box and usually her food stays on the shelf they have rubber feet and I put her water in there so that she can access it but it can't slip away. This is what the box lo boat looks like when we are making it ready for departure. I have some stuff to remove there as well I can see now. It's raining. Maybe it will pass. I'm going to do some last minute provisioning. I've been and done some last minute provisioning. Today we are leaving the marina. It's raining and grey, but I can see some blue sky over there. I've prepared the lines so they're easy to let go. It's 15 Wait, minutes. Waiting for the water to fill up. Yeah, and uh, there's the side of the radio 50 minutes until they open the bridge. So. But I think they should go in this bridge opening because it's yeah. going to be queue for the petrol anyway. Yeah, so we will go a little bit behind the rest. Yeah. And Litsa, she doesn't understand why she is locked in and, and tied up, but we don't want her hanging around when we are working with the lines, etc. So we will let her loose as soon as we are out. And this is checking the bow thruster and that the cooling water is coming out from the engine. And he checked okay. the oil That's when I was away doing the provisioning. Should I go on for that? No, don't yet. Should we call the marina? Top for the winter. Calling a marina house. Marina Lagos, Marina Lagos, Marina Lagos. This is Frida Vispi. Over. Morning, this is Lagos Marina speaking. Over. We would like the bridge to be open. Over. Repeat the boat name. Over. The boat is Frida Vispi. Over. The studio may open the bridge in about four minutes. Over. Okay, thank you.
taking Frida out uh, from the bridge and I'm on my way to Sopromar so we can change a gas bottle and leave our card because we forgot to leave that. So a quick walk to Sopromar to fix that and then we need to fuel and then we are on our way. Almost ready for departure. We have changed camping gas, we have fueled, so Anders is on his way to pay for that and uh, then we are ready to leave Lagos and uh, hopefully George is standing somewhere there and is going to film our departure. We are on our way, going out from Lagos. We had no idea when we arrived here in October that we were going to stay for this long, but we have got a lot of things done on the boat, but now it feels really good to get out on the blue water again. This is the sandbar, no tide, you can almost walk there, it's tide deep, but uh, hopefully it will dredge. And we say goodbye Lagos! Out on the blue water again. Apart from the chair, is the captain satisfied? <laughs> this is okay. Leaving. Lagos, we got Sagas there, and there is the uh, caves, and uh, Praia de Luz. Yeah. Fishing pots all over the place. Yes, it is. Now we have about two hours where we are in the Orca. Uh, danger zone before we reach deep enough water where according to Alicia there is no danger uh, for for them anymore but uh, it's extremely calm weather and uh, there have been no interactions around here lately there has been closer to Gibraltar but out here has been nothing so uh, we cross our fingers and uh, hope that we will get a safe passage. No orcas, but Anders just saw dolphins. Yes, there they are, close to the fishing pot. So, less than five minutes from, from the harbor where we already see dolphins. That must be a good sign. And I also heard that the dolphins don't like to be near the orcas. So uh, hopefully so we take that as a good sign that the orcas is not close by. So could you come here and have a sandwich? I think you need some energy now. Our buddy boat in Tomara is waiting for us. That's good. Uh, I don't really know 
fun, but it's like a season or so long time ago that I almost felt to be careful but how to do it. But everything went really well and uh, also when we tied up to the waiting bottle and the fuel bottle and everything went really smoothly. And uh, the sea is really flat, it's a bit cloudy, but uh, very light wind have just hoisted the main or fell out the main and uh, well still running the engine I am not quite sure which for sale at this point. Uh oh, the poor side winch is not working. But the one on the starboard side do. And just leave me in the cockpit and go down low to investigate. Since it's still not working, we temporarily used the one on the starboard side to get the sails out, but this is not good. And just later fix the problem by cutting the electricity and reconnect it, but we have no idea why this happened. But we continued anyway. We see dark fins. Is it orcas? We can see some fins. They're about 100 meters from the boat. We are still in the Orca danger zone. Be gone now. Not interested in us. Anyway. Right beside us. And that's dolphins. That's no no discussion about that. Yeah, they are great. <laughs> yeah. It's up there as well. All around. Yeah, we have one in front of us as well, on the side. 50 meters. This is what we love about blue water sailing. Now we are on 135-140 meters of water. Hmm? Let me start. Out of the danger zone, so I say. Mm. Out of the danger zone. Mm. 
Kamara in the background. And Anders in the foreground. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of Anders all over. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Coffee. Save. Yeah. And uh, five, five knots. Two lows to the right direction. Yeah. And uh, the sun has come down quite well, at least when you look in that direction. Don't look um, in any other direction. Behind me, it's a bit darker. And over there, it's even worse. Yeah. So, but right now, it's great sailing. We will get back to the internet question later and tell you why it's important. Look and listen to those waves. Fantastic to be out on the water again. And, uh, absolutely lovely. Do you remember the internet question? We are about 35 nautical miles out and Anders is in a video call with his dad. So the new higher placement of the 4G antenna works really well. Why do you want to chase to the uh, space sail instead of the Genoa? Yeah, the, the jib. Jib. instead of the general because we are fighting against the wind and uh, we have enough wind now to, to do it with the with the jeep instead okay and you need some training <laughs> i thought there was a catch somewhere it, it was not nothing at all that we could get a better height towards the course or it's just that you want me to move my ass. <laughs> Great sail, I would say. Yep. If it's like this, the entire trip of 500 nautical miles, I don't complain. Yeah, and we have already got part of, of that turn of the wind. Yeah. So we still we have already we're close to reaching the, the direction we want. Three more days like this, and we will be at Porto Santo. Check it. Oh, we are, we are five, five seconds meter. Ten knots. Ten knots. And how fast? Five, five and a half, six knots. On the jib. On, on the jib and full main. Okay. When we built the solar arch, we were a bit concerned that it would have negative impact on our sailing performance but after sailing a couple of hours it seems like it doesn't have any significant impact at all and here you can see the kayak hanging so on the outside of the guy blocking ray. our way here because it did before and it wasn't really feeling good especially when we are about to tie up to the dock but also sometimes while sailing when you needed to to get out on foredeck uh, a bit quickly, the kayak was really hindering the way, but now it's out of the way and also the passerelle. But we might have to move it when laying next to a boat. Anders is sitting and watching YouTube. 
while we are sailing and we can hardly see land but um, we still have connection but it will soon disappear yeah. 4g antenna over there that helps a lot that one life is pretty good huh and now i'm going down and making uh, meatballs and mashed potatoes then anders will be really really happy so dinner day one swedish meatballs with um, sprouts and mushrooms and mashed potatoes and uh, of course lingonberry jam is mandatory and some cucumbers Sales, huh? Nothing. It's probably switching for the jib for the Genoa. It's actually so comfortable. Today I may not have needed the pre cooked food, but I think it's much easier to do that. And, um, in case it's windy and wavy in bad sea state, it's a lot easier. Swedish meatballs with mashed potatoes, it's perfect. Yeah, oh. it's going to be really nice. And uh, you can't complain about the view. No. And we are sailing straight for Madeira now. We ha can ha hold the route course. Porto <laughs> Santo and Madeira is more or less but, the same thing. Yeah, they're very, wise. they're very close to one another. And um, we're doing five, five and a half knots. Yeah. And uh, the wind has just turned, I it think. Has, it has done what it promised to do. What all the... Um, Forecast. Naturalists told us yeah the forecast said it would open up and it has yeah. so i can now point we can now point the right direction and still have an, a little bit loose on on the sails yeah. so it's perfect and i could hear when i was down below cooking that you were doing something with the sails i was swapping back from from the jeep to to the genoa so because the wind has gone down and opened up Stella Trader and uh, we agree that we will pass behind Viva Glory but in front of Stella Trader. Just started the engine to get a little bit better margin than we did with just the sails. Tintomara has done the same. We are trying to get out of the um, traffic separation zone. Yeah, we're crossing at the 90 degrees. Yeah, and then including the engine so we're doing seven and a half knots yeah and uh, as soon as we are out of it i think we will turn the engine off again and yeah. then anders will try to sleep for two minutes yeah maybe two hours even nice and quiet and really dark and there are so many stars we are going Eventful night passage. Uh, first, we were in the traffic separation zone, and uh, when we got out of it, we had to move for a little bit. Uh, the wind died down, so we were just drifting together with Tim tomorrow. I think we had an average speed about 1.5, something like that, and that is way too slow. And uh, then we started the engine. And we had almost yeah, just motored for 10 minutes or something. Then the wind came, quite a lot of it, and we have full Genova and full Maine. Uh, so I had to uh, 
gonna take some of the sail down. And then just came up and wondered what was going on. <laughs> we are sailing and uh, in well, almost four knots, 3.5 to four knots. And we have quite little sail and we'll run around like this. There are some squalls, um, obviously. And since it's completely dark, it's uh, impossible to see them. So I'm quite satisfied with not having so much sail. to follow us on our first day of sailing and uh, we will end this episode here but I will now give you a short preview of the next episode thank you for watching this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button and thumbs ups always make us happy in the next episode we will arrive at Porto Santo and I will fulfill one of my dreams that I had since before we bought the boat Hey!